All right, boys and girls, I have another book for us this week. It's one of my favorite stories about a little fish in the ocean, and his name is Swimmy. Okay, let's see what happens to Swimmy. A happy school of little fish lived in a corner of the sea somewhere. They were all red, only one of them was as black as a mussel shell. He swam faster than his brothers and sisters. His name was Swimmy. Can you find Swimmy? There he is. One bad day, a tuna fish, swift, fierce, and very hungry, came darting through the waves. In one gulp, he swallowed all the little red fish, and only Swimmy escaped. There he is. He swam away in the deep, wet world. He was scared, lonely, and very sad. But the sea was full of wonderful creatures, and as he swam from marvel to marvel, Swimmy was happy again. He saw a Medusa made of rainbow jelly. A lobster who walked about like a water-moving machine. Strange fish pulled by an invisible thread. A forest of seaweeds growing from sugar candy rocks. An eel whose tail was almost too far away to remember. and sea anemones who looked like pink palm trees swaying in the wind. That kind of looks like a starfish. Then hidden in the dark shade of rocks and weeds, he saw a school of little fish just like his own. Let's go and swim and play and see things, he said happily. We can't, said the little red fish. The big fish will eat us all. But you can't just lie there, said Swimmy. We must think of something. They were too scared. So Swimmy thought and thought and thought. And then suddenly he said, I have it. We're going to swim all together like the biggest fish in the sea. He taught them to swim close together, each in his own place. And when they had learned to swim like one giant fish, he said, I'll be the eye. Doesn't that look like a big fish? And so they swam in the cool morning water and in the midday sun and chased the big fish away. Pretty cool. I love that book. That was Swimmy. Hope you enjoyed that.